Hey, hey, here's another opportunity to train your brain and sharpen your logical thinking skills. Don't miss out on it. Yeah. Liam was a doctor from Chicago. Once, he asked his boss to let him attend a medical conference in Berlin. The boss let Liam go but asked him to send a photo report as soon as he got to Europe. The next day, the boss received a message from Liam that said, Hello from Germany. That's me right now. A photo was attached to the message. After looking at it, the boss realized Liam had lied to him. How did he figure it out? In the photo, there's a clock on the wall that shows exactly the same time as the clock in the boss's office. If Liam was in Germany, the clock would show a different time because of the time difference. A bit of math for you. Can you figure out what comes next in this sequence of numbers? It's gonna be this long number. You see, each next number is a verbal representation of the number before it. This way, if we start with one, the next number in the sequence will be one one. And the next one is two ones. And then we've got one, two, one, one, and so on. Look at this picture attentively. The guy has sent a message to his girlfriend. He seems to be missing her very much, but is it true? Can you figure out if he might be cheating on her? Yes, unfortunately he is. Look at this napkin. There's a lipstick print on it. He must be with another girl. Once a man came to a police station. He said he'd been robbed on his way to the bank. He was carrying a briefcase with a big sum of money when a man wearing a black mask and gloves attacked him. The robber snatched the briefcase and ran away. The police officer listened to the man and asked him about a fresh cut on his right cheek. The man replied that it was from a ring the criminal had been wearing. After these words, the policeman immediately knew the man was lying. How did he realize it? Are you as attentive as the police officer to figure it out? The man couldn't know about the ring on the robber's finger, since he claimed that the criminal had been wearing gloves. Turn me on my side, and I'm everything. Cut me in half, and I'm nothing. What am I? I'm the number eight. On my side, I look like an infinity symbol. And cut in half, I'm just two zeros. Look at these people very attentively. Your task is to find out which girl the man is interested in. Remember that the answer here lies in the details. And this puzzle can tell us how good you are at reading people. Our body language can tell other people a lot about us. The way you sit, Stand and even move your arms can give away what you're thinking about or how you feel. The girls in the picture have different postures and facial expressions. And once we look closely, we will understand that the man is clearly interested in the girl who is most interested in him. But which one is it? The second one from the left. Her feet are pointed towards the man, and we can say the same about his feet. While girls number one and three are looking at the man too, they aren't into him all that much. Their feet and body language give it away. A wealthy old man didn't have a will, so he ordered his sons to race their horses, and the one whose horse would be slower would receive his inheritance. The two sons realized that they would be unable to race since they would be both holding their horses back. So they went to a wise man and asked him what they should do. After listening to his advice, the brothers started racing at full speed. What did the wise man tell them?
He recommended switching horses. Now, whoever wins the race will get the inheritance because they will technically own the losing, slower horse. Four people came to a river with a narrow bridge that could only hold two people at a time. It was nighttime, and they had just one torch that had to be used when crossing the bridge. Person A needed one minute to cross the bridge, and person B could do it in two minutes. It took person C five minutes to get to the other side, and person D needed eight minutes. If two people were crossing the bridge together, they had to move at the slower person's pace. Can all these people get across the bridge within 15 minutes or less? Yes, they can. Let's see how it can be done. First, person A and person B cross the bridge, and then person A brings the light back. It takes three minutes. Next, person C and person D cross the bridge, and person B brings the light back afterward. It takes another 10 minutes. And finally, person A and person B cross the bridge again. This takes another two minutes. In total, we've got 15 minutes. Recently, Mark had been feeling some discomfort in his knees, so he decided to go to the doctor. After examining the man, the specialist gave him a piece of paper, saying, Here's the solution. And then he left the room. What was written in the note? What did the doctor mean? The treatment is a painless operation. The missing letters spell out pain. Thus, Mark should have a painless operation. Thomas was talking with his colleague, and she asked him how many kids he had. He answered that he had three children, and she asked him about their ages. Thomas replied, The product of their ages is 72, and the sum of their ages is the same as my house number. His colleague was confused. The next time she was invited to Thomas's house, she paid attention to his house number, and still, she couldn't figure out the kids' ages. Tom decided to help her. Oh, that's right, I forgot to tell you the oldest one likes chocolate pudding. And after that, his colleague figured out the ages of the three children. Have you understood how old they are? The kids are three, three and eight. The key to this riddle is the colleague knows the sum of the children's ages, but she still can't tell how old Thomas's children are because she is stuck between several possibilities. To narrow it down further, only two sets of numbers that multiply to 72 share the same sum. And that's when the man reveals that his oldest child likes chocolate pudding. Only the latter of these two sets has a distinct oldest child. Imagine that you're in a dark room. There's a candle, a wood stove, and a gas lamp there. You only have one match. Uh -oh. What do you light first? First of all, you'll need to light the match. These five bags of gold all look identical. Each of them has 10 gold pieces in it, but one of the bags contains fake gold. The real gold and fake gold are identical in every way, except the weight. Each piece of fake gold weighs 1.1 ounce, while a piece of real gold weighs 1 ounce. You have a perfectly accurate digital scale, but you can use it only once. How can you determine which bag has the fake gold? You should take one gold piece from the first bag, two from the second bag, three from the third bag, four from the fourth bag, and five from the fifth bag. If the number on the scale ends in point one, you'll know the first bag contains the fake gold. If the number ends in point two, then the fake gold is in the second bag, and so on.
That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Animals are awesome. They radiate charisma, confidence, and vitality. Here's a brief quiz that will help you find out what your very own guardian animal is and adopt some of its amazing, authentic traits. Pick your answers, don't forget to count your score, and see the results at the end of this video. Pick the landscape that you like the most. African savanna adds two points to your score. If you chose these beautiful tropical flowers, add three points to your score. Snowy mountains add zero points, and coniferous forests gives you one point. Here's the next question. Do you feel connected with animals? Nope. Of course. Well, it depends. I like them more than humans. Option A adds one point to your score. If you chose B, add three points to your score. Answer C costs two points. And D brings you zero points. How would you describe yourself? Smart. Beautiful. Lucky. Hardworking. A adds one point to your score. If you picked option B, take two points. Option C adds three points. And answer D brings you zero points. Pick the sky and clouds that you like the most. This delicate surprise brings you three points. If you liked the thunderclouds, add one point to your score. Romantic sunset lovers get two points. And the starry night sky brings you zero points. What do you do if you see a spider in your home? I scream and run away from home. Nothing, I let it go. I take a picture. I give it a name and we become best friends. Option A adds zero stars to your score. B brings you one point. Answer C is worth two points. And D brings you three points. What taste do you prefer most of all? Salty, sweet, spicy, neutral. If your choice is option A, add one point to your score. Answer B adds zero points. Answer C brings you two points. And answer D is worth three points. What are you scared of the most? My own thoughts. The dark. Being a failure. Insects. Card A brings you one point. Option B adds two points to your score. If you chose C, add three points to your score. And answer D brings you zero points. Do you feel like a leader? I don't, but who if not me? Never, that's the worst job ever. Always, I like to control everything. I wish I had enough courage. If you picked option A, add two points to your score. Option B brings you one point. Option C is worth three points. And answer D brings you zero points. If we ask your best friend to describe you in just one emoji, what would it be? Laughing, crying, poker face, heart. A brings three points to your score. If you chose B, add zero points to your score. Option C brings you one point, and option D adds two points. Would you rather work in a group or alone? Alone. In a group. Depends on the task. I prefer working in pairs.
If you picked option A, add 3 points to your score. Option B brings you 2 points. Option C is worth 0 points. And answer D brings you 1 point. Which music genre do you like the most? Classical Rap Disco Rock A adds 0 points to your score. B brings you 3 points. C adds 2 points. And D adds 1 point. If you could make one wish come true, which one would you pick? To be immortal. To become super beautiful. To become super rich. To make all creatures in the universe happy. A brings you zero points in this round. Option B adds two points. C is worth one point. And answer D adds three points. If you could pick just one of these four jobs, which would you choose? Firefighter, I'm ready to take risks to save lives. Fashion designer, making people look beautiful is my passion. Pilot, flying makes me feel so free. Chef, Preparing food always makes me happy. If you chose A, add one point to your score. Option B brings you two points. C adds zero points. And answer D brings you three points. Are you confident? I try to be. No. Yep, I'm the most confident. I tend to overthink every action. If you picked option A, add 3 points to your score. Option B brings you 1 point. C adds 2 points. And answer D brings you 0 points. What do you usually do when you feel upset? Talk with my therapist. Go outdoors and play a sport. Listen to music. Go shopping. If you chose A, add zero points to your score. Option B brings you one point. C costs three points. And answer D brings you two points. Pick one element. Air. Fire. Water. Earth. If you chose A, add 0 points to your score. Option B adds 2 points. Option C is worth 3 points. And answer D brings you 1 point. Do you get along with your family? Not really. I take care of myself on my own. Yeah, I can't imagine my life without them. We share some similar interests. Well, let's just say I'm still waiting for my magic school invitation. If you chose A, add 1 point to your score. Option B brings you 2 points. C adds 3 points. And answer D brings you 0 points. Pick an item of clothing. The hat brings 0 points to your score. If you picked the glitter coat, grab your 2 points. The pair of jeans brings you 1 point, And the swimsuit brings you 3 points. Pick the dance style that you like the most. Ballet dancers bring zero points to your score. The contemporary dancer brings you three points. If you pick the tango, grab one point. And the Brazilian carnival brings you two points. Which one represents you? Cozy, funny, kind. Modest, loyal, trustworthy. Careless, adventurous, spontaneous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Option A adds 3 points to your score. Option B brings you 1 point. 
If you chose C, you get zero points. And answer D brings you two points. Pick a flower. Lilies, mysterious, just like me. Daisies, they give me a peaceful and warm vibe. Peonies, there's something royal about them. Narcissus, they're so soft and elegant. Card A adds one point to your score. Option B brings you three points. If you chose C, grab your two points. And answer D brings you zero points. What pet would you rather have? Cat. Dog. Bird. Iguana, obviously. Card A adds three points to your score. Option B is worth two points. C brings you zero points. And answer D brings you one point. Ready for the results? Make sure you calculated your score correctly, and let's go! If your score is between 0 and 16 points, congratulations! Your guardian animal is an owl. The wise creature protects you from all kinds of troubles and helps you through difficult times. It also makes you attentive enough to see fake friendships and the evil motives in other people. Sometimes you might feel insecure like you're from another planet, but don't give up. Allow yourself to make space for long-term prosperity and well-being. Whenever you face injustice or feel less confident, your owl guard will help you calm down and step into your power again. If your score is between 16 and 32 points, your totem animal is a wolf. You probably like to stay in the shadows and allow your noisy friends to take away the whole spotlight. Your soul guardian teaches you to value independence, self-sufficiency, and calmness. Walking alone and journaling can help you rediscover your authentic self. People tend to perceive you as a deep, mysterious person. They want to learn more about your inner world. So, if someone ever violates your boundaries, just make one of those angry wolf looks. If you got from 32 to 48 points, your sole protector is a lion. This animal can teach you to overcome pride and egocentrism in order to become a kind-hearted and generous leader. People come to you for advice all the time because you radiate confidence and humor. Every dream seems possible when they're around you. Although, your supply of love for people is almost inexhaustible. Sometimes, you need a break. So, manage your energy wisely and don't allow people to take advantage of you. If you got from 48 to 66 points, your guardian animal is a whale. It can teach you to vibe with the ocean and enjoy life as it is every step of the way. This feeling of oneness, unity, and wisdom will help you navigate through life as if you are dancing with the waves. Try to cherish this state of mind and observe the drama of life from a detached point of view, like an experienced film director or a music composer. This will give you the capacity to invent progressive solutions that improve people's lives and the environment.